let's try that again. <laughs> uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Sheehan. I'm the assistant principal in charge of scheduling for the academy, and welcome to the scheduling process for the 2023-2024 school year. Uh, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to share some information with you, and then we're going to give you a chance to ask questions of our staff about specific courses, programs, and so on. So I'm going to start off by sh sharing my screen with you. So what you can see right now, this is the website, the, the school district website for the scheduling. We, it was sent to you in a link this afternoon, and you can see that it has important dates on it and also some times for tonight. So you can see tonight, uh, we're going to start with a live stream of the presentation that the students watched on Friday, January 20th for the current ninth graders. And then at 6.30, we will have uh, question and answer sessions available with the with the faculty via Zoom. And you can find those links to the Zoom rooms right here. It was sent out to you earlier uh, this afternoon uh, for Zoom rooms for January 23rd. Then at 6.30 as well, we're also going to show the same presentation that was shown to the current 10th grade class. And then at seven o'clock, you have a chance to show, to uh, excuse me, to ask questions of our faculty via Zoom. And the links for those rooms are also here on the Zoom rooms for January 23rd. So all, along, as long as I have it up, as long on this website, you have some other important links. You can find copies of the course selection sheet. You can also find copies of the videos that we're gonna show tonight as well, just in case you wanna uh, listen to them again. And there's also a place for you to post questions about the presentation or about anything you hear tonight from our staff. Okay, so I'm gonna get started by showing the video that the current ninth graders watched on Friday during our advisory period. Hello, my name is Michael Sheehan. I'm the assistant principal in charge of scheduling for the academy. Welcome to the scheduling process for the 2023-2024 school year. Today, we're going to share with you additional information regarding courses for the 10th grade year, as well as the steps needed to request those courses. Students will have an opportunity to ask questions during an upcoming seminar. Parents, after viewing this presentation, there will be an opportunity to ask questions through an online Padlet, as well as virtual sessions with our faculty. There are certain courses that all 10th grade students are required to complete. For two of our courses, U.S. History and Chemistry, students have the option of taking course, those courses in a blended format. These two blended courses are a combination of in-classroom learning and asynchronous work. If you have additional questions about the course structure, please ask the teachers of those courses. Math course for next year depends upon the course you are currently taking, as well as the course you hope to take in 11th and 12th grade. The chart shows the path that you can take. In the IB program, there are two math courses occurring at two different levels. The program of study provides additional information about topics and focus of these courses. If you have any questions about these courses and university requirements, please contact your counselor or your math teacher. Beyond the courses, students have the opportunity to take an elective course. The majority of these courses meet six times per 12-day cycle. Something to consider, some students have not taken an elective in the past because they wanted to allow time in their schedule to complete work, make up tests, etc. With this year's change in the daily class schedule, this may be a great opportunity to explore an elective now that time is built into the schedule for individual needs through lunch and learn. The first two elective offerings are, are our art and music electives. Students are currently enrolled in an elective are able to take level two of the same course. For example, a student taking Recording Studio 1 this year can take Recording Studio 2 next year. Students do not have to take the second level of an elective and can choose a new elective for 10th grade. For example, a student taking Art 1 in 9th grade may choose to take Engineering Tech in 10th grade. The engineering department offers two electives for 10th grade, 
communications technology focuses on media and digital products. Engineering technology is a course that extends learning from the ninth grade engineering course. Two electives we offer in the computer science area are computer programming Java and principles and practices of computer science. Java is meant to be an introductory course for students with no prior experience. The principles and practices course is meant for those with prior programming experience. Any student that would like to and any additional information should see Mr. Krauss or Mrs. Baxter. Like this year, performance Performance music students are able to participate in orchestra, choir, and band. Students have the option of taking one of these courses as a full elective, meaning six times per 12-day cycle, in place of electives previously mentioned, or can take it during seminar only three times per cycle. Any student that is planning to take an elective other than performance music must take their performance music during seminar. Students wishing to take two performance music courses may do so, but must split the time between the courses. Same as this year, band students who live on the east side of the district will participate with East Band, and West Side students will participate with the West Band. The last elective we have for 10th grade is Cyber Driver's Ed. This is a course that runs through the Cyber Academy. Students are expected to complete the course asynchron asynchronously with optional Zoom sessions. It is not scheduled during any period during the school day. This slide shows the timeline for this year's course selection process. Students, please make sure you are completing the online request process on the campus portal by January 29th. Once you have done so, please then submit your course selection sheet to your physics teacher. It's important that these are returned to us in case there's a question about what you selected. The first step is to ask, to ask questions. On January 20th, students will have to op the opportunity to visit teachers during seminar to ask questions about specific courses. Locations of teachers during this time will be provided via the link at the end of this presentation. For parents, teachers will be available on January 23rd from 6.30 to 7 via Zoom to ask any questions you may have. Once you have your courses chosen, please enter them on the Academic Planner on Infinite Campus. Here are a few things to remember as you do it. Double check that your required courses are entered. They are Biology, Health and Wellness 2, and American Literature. Remember to choose either Blended or Traditional for Chemistry and U.S. History. Also, please include your language choice for 10th grade. For students choosing band, please make sure you are choosing the correct side of the district. East side students should select the course number with an E in it, while West side students should select the course number with a W in it. Please submit your first choices only on the academic planner. Your alternative choices for electives should be indicated on your course selection sheet. You're only expected to complete the course request for the 10th grade year. You do not need to do anything with the 11th and 12th grade columns. Once you have your academic planner online completed, please submit your course selection sheet to your physics teacher. Don't forget to rank your elective choices. This QR code will send you to the website created for the course selection process. It includes links to copies of the course selection sheet, the program of study, and Zoom room links for January 23rd. If you have any questions about the process, please let us know. Thank you. Hello, my name is Michael Sheehan. Uh, so as you can see, the, the scheduling process for the current ninth graders is, is very straightforward. There's a lot of required courses. There are some options for a blended environment for chemistry and history, and there are additional electives for the uh, 10th grade year. So uh, it's important that students uh, put in their requests on the campus portal by the 29th of January. Uh, at 6.30 tonight, we're going to have Zoom rooms available with teachers to, ask, to answer any questions that you may have about the 10th grade year. 
If there are any parents of current 10th grade students listening as well, we will show the video that those students watched on January 20th at 6.30, followed by Zoom rooms at seven o'clock. So in about 20 minutes, we're gonna start the Zoom rooms for the current ninth graders. Uh, if you have any questions, you're also welcome to put them on the Padlet that was created. It's the link called mm -hmm. Post Questions About Presentation. You're welcome to put any questions you have there and we will get back to you. Thank you.
Hello, uh, in case you're just joining us, my name is Michael Sheehan. I'm the assistant principal in charge of scheduling for the academy. Uh, if you were previous, previously with us tonight, we watched the video that the students watched on January 20th for the current ninth graders. So now what I'd like to do is show the video for the current 10th grade class. And then after that, there'll be an opportunity to join Zoom rooms and ask questions of our faculty. So just a real quick as a reminder, uh, this is the page of the district website that has our scheduling information on it. You can see that there is the schedule for tonight at 6.30 and now we'll be showing the presentation for the current 10th graders and then we'll be having Zoom rooms from seven to eight with our faculty. If you're looking for those Zoom room links, they can be found here on that website. Uh, it's in the backpack under Zoom rooms for January 23rd. And there's also the ability for you to post questions about the presentation, about anything in general that has to do with the scheduling process as well. And you can see the other, the other links that include the videos that we are showing, as well as the course selection sheets. Now I'm going to show the video that the current 10th graders watched about the 11th and 12th grade year. My name is Michael Sheen. <laughs> I'm the assistant principal in charge of scheduling for the academy. Welcome to the scheduling process for the 2023-2024 school year. Today, we are going to share with you additional information regarding the IB and Pathway courses for the 11th and 12th grade years, as well as the steps needed to request those courses. Students will also have an opportunity to ask questions during an upcoming seminar. Parents, after viewing this presentation, there will be an opportunity to ask questions through an online Padlet, as well as virtual sessions with our faculty. As you are making your decisions, there are a few things to think about. IB courses are two years in length, so it's important that you choose courses that are going to keep your interest and motivation. There are two different levels of IB courses. Higher level or HL courses are equivalent to AP courses at East and West and cover additional topics. Standard level or SL courses are similar to honors courses at East and West. Make sure that you speak with your counselor about courses and how they fit into your college or university plans. The IB program is recognized in different ways by colleges and universities. Some offer college credit based on the level of the course. Another thing that you'll have to consider is which path you want to take through the program. There are two options. The first is course candidacy. All students at the academy take six IB courses, one from each subject group, the first year of TOK, and a DASD graduation project. Students who would like to pursue the IB diploma will need to take three of those courses at the HL level, complete the second year of theory of knowledge, and complete the CAS program and EE. We'll talk about CAS and EE in an upcoming slide. There are students who start on the diploma path and then change to course candidacy. We will meet with the students during the spring of their junior year to go over their choices and expectations, but if you are considering the IB diploma, make sure to schedule three HL courses now for your 11th grade year. All students will receive a DASD diploma and a transcript from the IB with their course and scores. Students who meet the requirements will also receive a diploma from the IB. As I said before, we'll be meeting with everyone in the spring of their junior year to go over the difference and expectations of being either a course or diploma candidate in the IB program. Understanding that things can change, you can change your, your path from diploma to course up until September of your senior year. If you have any questions, please come see to the main office to see Mr. Sheehan or Ms. Shell. Let's now get into each of the six IB subject groups. Group one is the literature group. All students must select either literature, HL, or SL. SL literature includes a minimum of nine works studied across four genres and three time periods. HL completes an additional four works through the course in an IB externally assessed essay. If you have any questions regarding the difference between these course, courses or the works studied, please see one of the English teachers. Group two is the foreign language group. 
all students must select one course from this group. The focus of all SL courses is language acquisition and intercultural understanding. The syllabus covers the three core topics, communication and media, global issues, social relationships, as well as two of the five options, cultural diversity, customs and traditions, health, leisure, and science and technology. The HL syllabus is similar in structure but covers the topics in greater depth. Both courses have the same number of IB assessments that include all four of the main language components, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Please note that HL and SO courses are not separated by level and meet in the same classroom at the same time. If you have questions about the difference between HL and SL expectations, please see your language teacher. We are fortunate to have five options available to students for the Group 3 requirement. All HL courses have an additional topics and IB assessments in comparison to their SL counterparts. HL students are also expected to analyze and synthesize content knowledge at a greater depth. Like language, courses are not separated by level and meet in the same classroom at the same time. Students may choose two courses from Group 3, with one of them counting as their Group 6 requirement. If you're interested in a particular non-US school, please look at the requirements of that school as they may differ. Please see your counselor if you need additional help researching university requirements. If you have additional questions about the courses listed above, please speak with the teacher of that course or your current social studies teacher. Group 4 is the experimental sciences. Students must choose one course from the list shown. While the standard level and higher level courses cover many of the same topics, the higher level, courses, higher level course requires a more intensive study of the content and labs that reflect the depth of knowledge required for the course curriculum. All courses also have a lab component. Students may choose two courses from group four with one counting as their group six requirement. Group five covers the math requirement. Students must select one course based on their completed 10th grade math course. The chart above shows the options available for students completed math analysis and algebra two respectively. This slide provides additional information on the focus of each of the math courses. Applications and interpretations has an emphasis on statistics, modeling, and use of technology. This is good for students who will go on to study social sciences, natural sciences, business, some economics, and psychology. Analysis and approaches has an emphasis on analytical methods with an emphasis on calculus. This is good for students who will go on to study subjects with substantial mathematical content, such as math itself, engineering, physical science, or some economics and design. Students wishing to attend a college or university in Germany to study technology, mathematics, or natural sciences, excluding medicine and pharmacy, must complete IB mathematics at the higher level. Please see your counselor or the IB coordinator for more information if needed. Group 6 is the Arts and Electives group. Students must choose a course from the list shown or may substitute a second Group 3 or a Group 4 course as well. Like the structure of courses in other groups, HL courses cover additional topics and include additional IB assessments. The Environmental Systems and Societies course is only available at the SL level across the globe. Like in other groups, courses are not separated by level and will occur in the same room at the same time. Part of the IB diploma are the core elements, theory of knowledge, creativity, activity, service, and the extended essay. All year one students are required to complete year one of the theory of knowledge course meeting four times every 12 school days. This course focuses on the overarching theme of how do we know what we know and acts as a conduit for the subject areas to find commonalities. CAS, one of the core elements of the IB diploma program, is intended to help educate the whole person through experiential learning as individualized according to student interests, skills, values, and background. The Extended Essay, or EE, offers students an opportunity to investigate a self-chosen topic of interest and craft a maximum 4,000-word research paper with guidance from an advisor and the EE coordinator. 
The goal of the EE is for students to complete a self-directed, independent project similar to what is expected at a university level. All year one students begin the CAS and EE process, but only students pursuing the IB diploma must complete both CAS and EE, as well as the second year of theory of knowledge. Something unique to our school is our STEM Pathways program. The Pathway courses are an opportunity for students to explore, create, and innovate in a 21st century STEM program. Each path culminates in the senior year with an individualized STEM practicum with one of our partnering business businesses. Level 1 and 2 are completed in the junior year with Level 3 occurring in the senior year. Students select one of the strands listed with the courses meeting four times for 12 days. It's important to note that these courses are, part, are not part of the IB program. If you have any questions about the nature of the STEM practicum itself, please contact Mrs. Borden in the main office. Juniors and seniors are able to participate in performance music during seminar. Students choosing two performance music courses must split class time between the three seminar periods every 12 days. This slide shows the timeline for this year's course selection process. Students, please make sure you are completing the online request process on the campus portal by January 29th. Once you have done so, please then submit your course selection sheet to your biology teacher. It's important that these are returned to us in case there's a question about what you selected. Just like last year, students will need to complete the course request online through the campus student portal. Make sure that you enter your first choice in the online planner. When you complete the paper copy, you will be able to indicate alternate courses. It's not necessary to complete the planner for courses after the 2023-2024 school year. The last step is to, submit, is to submit your course selection sheet to your biology teacher. When you are filling out the sheet, indicate your pathway preferences 1 through 3, with 1 being your first choice. Also, remember if you are in the marching band, please select the correct course based on your residence. East courses are indicated with a capital E and West with a capital W. If anyone did not take driver's ed last year and is interested in taking it this year, please speak with your counselor. This QR code will send you to the website created for the course selection process. It includes links to copies of the course selection sheet, the program of study, and Zoom room links for January 23rd. If you have any questions about the process, please let us know. You can take, talk to your counselor or stop in the main office and speak with Mr. Sheehan or Ms. Shell. Thank you. Uh, so that was the video for the current 10th grade students that they watched during advisory on January 20th. Uh, students also had the opportunity on the 20th and today to ask questions of our staff through a seminar and lunch and learn time. They'll have the same opportunity tomorrow to talk to, to their staff members about courses for next year during lunch and learn time. Uh, at seven o'clock tonight, the Zoom rooms for uh, IB and Pathway courses will be available. The links to those Zoom rooms can be found, as I showed you, on the district website. I'll show you again just to make sure that uh, everyone can find them. Hello, my name is Michael Sheehan. I'm the. Okay. Sorry about that. I started a second time by accident. So if you go to the district website and you go to STEM, you'll find a course selection page in the backpack. And on there, you will find the Zoom rooms for the 23rd with, for tonight. You can post questions. And also the videos are also available for current ninth and 10th grade students here as well, along with the course selection sheets that the students will turn into their physics and biology mm -hmm. teachers. So I thank everyone for
joining us this evening. And if you have any questions after tonight, please don't hesitate to call the counseling office, call the main office, and we're happy to help you. Thank you.